welcome back to another video. It's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you some rustic wall decor. I'm not as much of a rustic wall decor person. I do, however, know that lots of people are and my sister is. I found these fantastic live edge uh, wood blanks and I felt like I haven't done string art in a while. So I really wanted to give it another shot. My old piece of string art was heavily criticized by family and friends for looking like an ice cream cone. So today we're trying something a little different. Today I am going to be taking Taking this uh, image of a mason jar, tracing it, and we are going to create a mason jar that um, obviously is somewhat raised because of the brads that I'm going to put in, and we're going to put actual like flowers in them, like stemmed flowers, so that it kind of has a three-dimensional element as well. I think I've seen this done somewhere before. Um, I think it was a little bit more of a modern style. I'm taking this a bit more of a rustic route, uh, but I'm excited about it anyway. So with all that said, um, let's get started. So like I said, I kind of had this guy all printed out. Um, I don't want to do anything crazy, but I do want to keep this mason jar shape to kind of add to this rustic look. Um, I've seen people do like really geometric styles, I think for like some of those more modern versions. Um, but there's something about mason jars and wood that just screams farmhouse, doesn't it? Now for the annoying part, this isn't even the fun part. <laughs> the annoying part is taking all of these teeny tiny little nails I have and we are gonna go around and we are going to pop them in, uh, making sure to leave a decent amount of space because this is what's gonna create the opening for us to include our flowers. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put these two too close together. I just need enough so that the shape is still very clear. Um, and I'm just gonna give it a couple of taps until they're about even. And this is gonna be very annoying to listen to as well. So I believe I'm going to hyperlapse through this and we will come back when that's done. All right, here we are. <clears throat> um, you can see I added a couple of extras around the curves, that way they would stay curved. Um, and I also left a nice opening here, that way I can drop the stems in. So now I am going to get the things I currently have cleaned up, because I'm getting better at cleaning up as I go instead of when I'm done. Um, and I'm gonna go grab my embroidery floss bucket and we're gonna come in here and pick some colors. All right, I think I'm gonna stick in with this kind of rustic theme and I'm gonna go with uh, whites, browns, and light browns. Um, I really wanted to go for this beautiful green that I have in here, but I haven't quite found the use for, um, but I thought it might be easier just to kind of keep it neutral because then I can put whatever flowers I want in it and it'll become a little bit more seasonal. So I'm gonna start with my darkest color and I am going to head all the way around my, uh, well, well, my shape here. So I'm gonna start kind of in this corner. Uh, I'm gonna put on and I'm gonna tie a knot. Like that. Double knot it just for safety. Oh yes. And then as we go around, I'm just going to string it up and then wrap around to kind of keep it in place. String and wrap, string and wrap. And that's why having nails or brads with uh, these heads is so important. And here you can see the opening where our flowers will go in. All right, got this uh, just about done, really. Um, I'm gonna cut off my excess here, and we are going to move on from this 
to the lighter color and start kind of filling in down here a bit. Um, but overall, I think I quite like the look. Definitely has that rustic vibe and I went around in both directions to kind of add this double layered effect. Um, and I'm not gonna go crazy full in the middle because I still want to be able to see all of the um, stems, leaves, whatever. So I'm gonna kind of start up here. I'm thinking tie this around. Um, and honestly, I don't even know if I wanna do the white at this point, um, just cause I feel like it might be a little bit too stark with the really natural tones that I have here. Um, I might have a cream color. I'm just gonna have to kind of peek around for it. But um, from that, I'm gonna start kind of going diagonally, but I'm not going to go exactly diagonally because um, I want to kind of give this a little bit of interest. Um, up and around, just like that. Across here, I don't like that one's visible. I don't know what's happening here either, but I kind of want to get rid of it. Hold up. This is a good start, but I still feel like I need another color. So I'm definitely gonna grab that cream tone. I don't have a lot of it left, but I think it might be worth it for the effect. All right, I think it actually turned out pretty good. Now I just gotta find some flowers to pop in there for the effect. Look what I found bunch of still stemmed flowers from the time I attempted to make my own wedding bouquet. So I've got a couple of lines in here. I feel like I need to kind of rip off the bottom because I don't want it to be too, too much down there for obvious reasons. And so I'm just going to kind of slip this in here. And Make sure it doesn't go all the way through. These guys have a lot tinier stems. It's really at this point, it's just a bunch of uh, flower arranging. Let's do some of that. This is a lot of um, lavender, which I think is actually an extra rustic kind of flower. Actually, on that side edge, that's what I'm gonna do, use this one for. I'm sorry, but look at how freaking cute this thing is. I am super obsessed with it. Um, I don't know what I was expecting when I kind of had the idea for it, but I love it. I think it's so cute. And I kind of want to like maybe add a little bit of a, a ribbon sort of situation on the front of it just to kind of finish it off. Yeah, let's do it. I have this purple ribbon that I used way back in the day for, um, oh gosh, uh, for a teddy bear, a dollar store teddy bear um, that I did that I gave to my niece. I will say that dollar store chenille sheds like nobody's business. Um, but uh, the bear did turn out really cute, even though it did it shed a fair bit. So I'm just going to get this ribbon all tied up. Ah, come on. Go along. Doesn't need to be. Right, even out the strings. Snip, fold them in half. Snip, and just gonna add a little bit of flame to the end of these just to make sure they don't fray. A little crusty, but it worked. Um, and 
really didn't think about how to attach this, but I think I'm just gonna go through one of these rows and just stick it up here and kind of shove it in between like that and a boom. I absolutely love this. I love the way that it came out. I love the ribbon. I really think it added together. I love how much texture there is up here. I love all the different flowers. I love how versatile this really can be. Um, it's a, such a simple project, but it's such a super easy way to kind of, uh, you know, jazz up your house, make it seasonal, you know, take these flowers out and replace them with some Dollar Tree flowers, some pink flowers, or, or really anything that kind of works with the season that you're in, some holly around the holidays, change out the ribbon, and you have a really cool seasonal decor piece. So I really love it and I hope you did too. And if you did, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much and I hope to see you then. Bye!